I have found that one of the biggest myths when it comes to homeschooling is this idea that we have to teach our kids every single subject. In reality, that is just not true. And it is such a weight off of your shoulders when you realize you can pass off some of the subjects, especially the harder ones like math, <laughs> to someone else or an app or a course or something like that to help take that off of your shoulders. And today I'm gonna to talk about how you can outsource math using teaching textbooks. When I first started talking about homeschooling with people, one of the biggest questions that I got and still get sometimes today is how are you gonna teach math? Being able to outsource math to a reputable source that is gonna give them the tools and the information and the resources that they need in order to succeed in math is a tremendous weight off of my shoulders. Teaching Textbooks is an app-based math course that is online. Teaching Textbooks has courses from level three, which I personally feel like is a little bit more like second grade math, up through pre-calculus. So in reality, once your kids hit second grade or third grade, depending on their skill set going into it, you can have them teach teaching textbooks all the way up through high school. So this provides you the opportunity to hand off math to someone else so you can free up your time and your mental space in order to focus on other things that might be a little bit more interesting or maybe even more important to you than math. I thought rather than giving you the full just rundown of teaching textbooks, I have several different review videos on my channel. I will link that in the description below if you wanna hear more about our personal experience with it. I'm gonna have my fourth grade son who's working on Math 5 walk through a lesson with you so you can see kind of how a whole lesson plays out and how this works from the concept of outsourcing math to another resource. This video today is sponsored by Teaching Textbooks. So when you first log into Teaching Textbooks, your child has their own username and password. You also have parent access that you can log in yourself to view their grades or make changes to lessons. Your child will go ahead and log in. They have the ability to go in and customize what their screen looks like. They can change the wallpapers that are in the background. They can change the little buddies that pop up and give them encouraging messages. They can choose whether to have little sounds that come up all of those kind of things. So they can kind of customize the look and feel of their experience with teaching textbooks. They will open up to the current lesson that they're working on. And right off the bat, it starts out with a lecture. Lesson 84, what's a percent? This is a lecture that is taught by someone at teaching textbooks, teaching a new concept while your student follows along. The percent is just another way to show a part of a whole. And the lectures are interactive where a lot of times it will have you kind of step-by-step step go through the process. It'll have you solve different portions of problems. What percent are pink? You got it. So the child can kind of wrap their brain around the process and how to solve the problem for this new concept that they're working on. They can go back and watch this lecture again if they didn't understand it. And one of the really cool things too about the lessons is that each problem that does show up when they go to do their actual work will list the lesson that this concept was taught in. So that if they get to it and they're really stuck, they're not sure how to solve that problem, they can go back to that previous lesson, rewatch the lecture which will explain it again and help it to be fresh in their mind and then they can go back and solve the problem after they watch the lecture they go into a group of I think there's about five practice problems and then it will go into a list of questions that they will solve teaching textbooks will read the problem out loud true or false a percent is just another way to show a part of a whole you got it one other really nice feature is that every once in a while, a problem will have a little hint thing that pops up. Remember, there are 60 seconds in a minute. This then will help keep your child from having to come to you for every single problem, <laughs> which is really nice. They can click over on the scratch pad. If you're working on a tablet, you can use your finger or if you have a stylus for your tablet to write those out on the scratch pad. So they really don't need to have like extra scratch paper or anything like that. It is all completely contained on your device when you are working on this, which is fantastic. This makes it really accessible to be able to take your math lessons with you if you need to go on the road somewhere. When you log in, it will automatically download five lessons. So you have those available to you offline that your child can work on out and about anywhere you may be. 
And you can choose in the parental controls whether or not you want them to have a second chance at answering the problem if they get it wrong the first time. If they get it wrong the first time and you have that second chance option available, then you can allow them the chance to do it again or to come ask you for help if you really wanna have a little bit more involvement in making sure that you're understanding if maybe there's a pattern with certain concepts that they're not understanding that you need to explain a little bit further. And then if they get it wrong that first time, that is not factored into their overall grade for the lesson. It will go based off of what their answer was the second time around. On that topic, one of the best features, I think as far as teaching textbooks goes, is that it will grade the whole assignment for you. Amazing. <laughs> Like this is life changing to not have to sit and go through every single problem and check them all out, especially the more children you have, the more time consuming that can be. So this is a phenomenal component of outsourcing your math to someone else, totally done for you. So at the end of the lesson, it will calculate your grade. Your student can then go in and look at their grade book and see where they stand. They can look at all their lessons and see what they got for each lesson. And then it will average them all out to see what their course running average is. Another component that I think sets teaching textbooks apart from other math curricula out there is that they have online resources available. They have a hotline they can call and let teaching textbooks know they're having a problem with math five, lesson 76, number 10. And someone will walk them through step-by-step -step how to solve that specific problem. And it's totally free of charge. That is just something that they provide as a resource to help take some of that weight off of the parents' shoulders, which I think is really amazing. If you're not sure what level to start your child on, there are placement tests available online that you can have them go through and just see where they stand. Um, I highly recommend potentially starting out looking at one level higher than your child's grade level. Teaching textbooks levels are not necessarily exactly in alignment with a lot of other math curricula that are out there. So I would suggest if you are gonna be switching from something else that you do the placement test for your children and find out what level is the most appropriate one for them to be starting on. You can read through the table of contents and see the topics that are covered in each level and compare that to where your previous uh, math curriculum is and choose the one that is going to be the next fit. You know your child best <laughs> and I highly encourage you just pay attention to where your child actually is. Don't worry so much about the actual level number. As a parent, you can log in at any time and track your child's progress how they're scoring on all their lessons. You can go in if maybe they accidentally hit the wrong button and, and entered an incorrect answer. You need to go modify that or you can erase their tries that they did and have them try it again if you would like to do that. Um, you have a lot of controls available to you as the parent and you can go in then and print out your child's entire lesson grade book and keep that for your records if you need to do that for your state requirements. So as you can see, teaching textbooks can be a great resource for outsourcing your math to someone else, relieving a little bit of that pressure on yourself and just freeing up more time for you as a homeschool parent. I hope you enjoyed this little peek inside teaching textbooks, walking along through a lesson with us and seeing how it can help you to outsource your math. If you enjoyed this video, please hit that thumbs up button below and I'll see you next time. Thanks for watching. Bye.